Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Although we know how to represent real number on number lines, but do we know how to represent 2.635 on the number line or 5.37 bars on the number line or 3.141592655 and so on or a rational number on the number lines we use a process of successive magnification to represent such numbers on the number line. Let us consider 2.635 and discuss the process of successive magnification. Consider this number line. We have 2.635 which will surely lie between 2 and 3. So let us divide 2 and 3 into 10 equal parts. Then the first division represents 2.1, second division will represent 2.2 and so on. Now 2.6 means this point, the sixth division. And 2.635 means the number lies between 2.6 and 2.7. So let us magnify 2.6 and 2.7 and divide it into 10 equal parts. On magnification, we get this following figure 2.6 and 2.7 is further divided into 10 equal parts and now the first division represents 2.61 and so on now our number is 2.635 that means it will lie between 2.63 and 2.64 so let us magnify once again on magnification and division into 10 equal parts we get 2.631 and so on and the required number is 2.635 so the fifth mark is the required representation of 2.635. Let us read the question. Visualize the representation of 5.37 with a bar on the number line up to 5 decimal places that is up to 5.3 and 4.7. Consider the number line. Then 5.37 bar will lie between 5 and 6. Let us divide it into 10 equal parts. Then our first division represents 5.1 next 5.2 next is 5.3 and 5.37 bar should lie between 5.3 and 5.4 so let us magnify and further divide it into 10 equal parts on magnification we get the following number line and 
Now the first division represents 5.31, next is 5.32 and so on. That means 5.37 bar which we have to plot up to 5 digits will lie between 5.37 and 5.38. So let us divide 5.37 and 5.38 into 10 equal parts. And now our counting will start with 5.371 and so on. Now the required number will lie between 5.377 and 5.378 so let us magnify 5.377 and 5.378 and divide it into 10 equal parts so now we have reached 4 decimal places and the first division represents 5.3771 Next is 5.3772 and so on. Now the given number 5.37777 will lie between 5.3777 and 5.3778. So let us magnify and divide into 10 equal parts and finally get 5.37 bar up to 5 digits of decimal. On magnification, the number line looks like this and the first division represents 5.37771 and so on. And the seventh division will represent 5.37 bar up to 5 decimal places.